back last year, me and Josh went down to Brighton and we went into a place called Snoopers Paradise. And there was this lucky film. Now there was three rolls of it. I snapped up every single roll because I'd never seen it before. I've always wanted to shoot a Chinese exclusive film stock. It was only five pound a roll. I was unsure whether or not it had been fridge stored, but the boxes had like a um, little bit of warping and that to them. So it looked like they had been cold stored at some point. So we're going to go out with a little MX today. We're going to go down to Alexandra Park and I'm going to shoot a roll of the Lucky Black and White SHD New Emulsion film. Without further ado, this is today's video. I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you at the end. So hello and welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and our little walk around Alexandra Park and a few other locations that I sprinkled in there. So the Lucky Film Incorporation have been around since the 1950s. They had a colour film emulsion and a black and white film emulsion. They started venturing into the realms of the magnetic strips on the back of credit cards. They got into the realms of tapes and then they started going down the route of the medical supplies. So the Lucky Film and Corporation were quite strong back in the day for a little Chinese company and they was up against the likes of Kodak and Fuji and I think that they stayed strong. Now Kodak noticed this and they wanted to take a 20% stake out in the Lucky Film and Corporation. So back in 2003 they come up with a deal and it was all finalised and going through but then a few years later Kodak decided to pull out and in 2007 the deal was dropped. It's a shame really because the Lucky Film Corporation could have really held on to this little foothold that they would have had with Kodak and the company would have worked really well together I think. 
but it's a shame. The digital age came and Kodak was like, no, I'm not invested in that. So it's a shame, but never mind. But the Lucky Film Corporation kept going and they stayed strong. And I think the Lucky Film Corporation need to have a bit of credit here because they've lasted all the way up to 2017 when they decided to bring out a new film base and a new film emulsion. So the film base they brought out was quite thin and the new emulsion was meant to be their new HD or SHD film emulsion. So this was meant to give you a very digital HD look from your film images. Now look at my images back through. Yes, my film has expired and probably if I would have had a fresh stock, it might have been close to a HD shot, but in my mind, no way. The film was very good at retaining the highlights and it had a very good exposure latitude. I feel that it wasn't very sharp film. It's not like your HP 5s or your, your Delta 400s. Yes, I'm talking about 400 speed films there, but then you can go into the realms of Delta 100 and your Acros. But anyway, we'll move on to the what I thought of the film. Now, I like having little films like this that I can try out and test because I can develop my own black and white at home. I developed mine in Rodinal, but probably wasn't the best choice in my mind because it did bring out the grain in the film. So I have one more role left, so I'll probably develop that in Perceptile and I'll probably give a little update further on down the line when I have shot this role. But I think the, the Lucky Film and Corporation were a strong company and as I said in 2017 they brought out a new emulsion, they, they started to move forward but then unfortunately the pandemic started to hit and because they obviously couldn't produce the film because they wasn't, there was no one in the factories because they was all off with Covid and then you had everything shut down so they lost all their money and they just vanished so I've looked on Wikipedia and I've looked all over Google on Reddit everything like that and I cannot find a definitive answer of what happened to the Lucky Film and Corporation so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I really hope that you did learn something about the Lucky Film Company if anyone knows exactly what happened to all the film stock from the company or just know what's happened to it in general other than the medical side of things, then please drop me a comment because I would like to know. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end. And as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like today's content. And remember to click the little bell icon so you're notified every time we release a new video, which is every two weeks. And hopefully we will catch you on the next one. Peace.